Hey, thank you for coming back here. Uh, today's video, we're going to go ahead and cover something that somebody requested um, here about a week ago, actually, and I, I never actually went back and created a video for it. So in my uh, one of my earlier videos, I went through um, scripting, um, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out a script for this here. Um, and I, I went through the different types of events that you can have. Uh, for instance, uh, when a trigger is entered or exited um, by either an object or a player, uh, collidable objects, how you can grab an object and that sends off a, a certain event. Well, somebody asked that uh, the collision, the collidable scripts here, um, how those were actually working because they were having a hard time actually putting them together. Um, and I, I think I may have went through it kind of quickly because I was covering quite a bit. So this video here is all about collisions. Um, so we're going to cover both object and player. Um, so let's go ahead and create a couple objects here to collide with. So I'm going to make two nice little boxes to collide with and um, also a circle that we can go ahead and put that in. So this one I'll go ahead and collide with a player. This one I'll collide with each other. Um, we have the nice little script here, and then let's go ahead and create a sound. That way we know when we actually activate that script there. So let's do a nice little sound effect there. And let's go ahead and make two different scripts here. One for the object and one for the player. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll start with this player block here uh, that we're going to put the collision on. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it collidable. And then we're going to go to more on this object here. And if you look, it says collision events from. Well, it says nothing here because we're not going to send an event using a collision. But in this case here, we're going to say players. And do we want it to collide when it hits their head or just their chest? So one of the things that are different from this here, a collidable object versus um, what you would find in a trigger, is a trigger will activate when you put your hand into it. It'll, it doesn't care what actually enters it. It's always going to trigger if any, th any part of that object, your hand, for instance, touches that. A collidable object doesn't care about your hand. Forget your hand. It wants to touch you and your body or you and your head. So we'll go ahead and turn both those on there, and we, those are very important. Then when we go to our scripting, I'm going to take everything out, and we're going to start with um, colliding and when colliding with player. So when the collision happens with a player, I'm going to come over here to this actions part here, and I'm going to come down here to play sound because that's what we're going to do to know when it collides with us. Play sound on, and then we'll go ahead and create whatever this sound is. So object, and I'm just going to call it win. And let's go ahead and put it in play sound. So I didn't cover too much into this one here. Um, I actually have a sound object or a sound video where we cover a little more with this. Um, do recommend watching that. Um, but overall, when we collide with the player, it's going to go ahead and play this win sound. We've already set up this object to do what it needs to do because under more, it says player heads, player torso, and then I'm going to make this grabbable. So we're going to go to motion interactive and then interaction is grabbable just so I can grab it and actually touch myself with it. And then also with that, we also want to put that script. So script 11 is telling us what we're going to do. So we'll come down here, script 11. What are we going to play the sound that's called win? Well, that's going to be this object here. So I'm going to grab this and bring it up to the attributes of that there. And there we are. So this block here is the one we're looking at. As you can see, I put my hand in there, nothing. But if I put it in my chest, and even my head. And that's how a collidable object is created with a player to, um, to actually send the event to another object. So now, 
we're going to close this one here and put this over to the side and we're going to come over here to when we want an object to be triggered by another object and you can use this for different things like uh, let's say you have a door that you want to open and you need a key to open the door um, so what you would do is you'd put this over by the door or whatever you wanted to do even if you wanted to do the door lock for instance and you wanted to make this collidable with the door lock and then you would come to your script and we're going to take everything out of here just so we can start from scratch if it'll let me there we go and we're going to come down here to colliding and we're going to click colliding with object so when the event that the item that we want to collide with is colliding with the object that it's going to collide with we want to and i'm going to come back here to actions play sound and we're going to create this nice little object and again win and put win in play sound so now when this collides with an object we're going to play win this is script number 10 so we're going to come over here this is the original block that we're going to actually collide with and the winning is going to reference that sound effect again so if i come out here and take a look at that this is where we were having a little bit of an issue um, so i'm going to make this uh, the little ball grabbable here if you grab the ball and put it in there it doesn't actually do the sound effect the reason for it is just like the the player we have to tell it to run into this object but it's a little more extensive when you're doing an object collision so you take the object that you're going to send the code on and what you want to collide with the other object and you're going to go to more and collision events from nothing we're going to go to objects tagged and then this is where it gets important whatever you put an object tag you have to come to the item that you're going to collide with and go to attributes and put in the tag here so you could have five keys for instance and all of them have the tag key any one of them would then affect that block that's going to send the sound effect over so for instance this one here i'm going to name ball if i come out and i grab this because i didn't put the collision tag in this it's not going to make any difference if i come in here and click ball now i know that this is tagged ball this is colliding with the object tag ball so if i grab this ball now And those are the two different types of collisions, either a collide with player, and it has to be the torso or the head, or a collide with the object. And again, the most important part with colliding with object is going to more collision event objects tagged and then creating the tag you want to, to do an event on. And then the item that you're actually going to be handing into that object, you want to go ahead and make sure has the same tag under attributes, the middle tab here. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and comment down below. If you like the video, go ahead and feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you again for watching my videos. You guys have a great day.